Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous video, we created the hero section with image and a couple of text. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and make some slight interactions that you see over here. All right, so we've got a little bit of shadow and also the image at the back kind of zooms out, um, you know, to give that nice hover effect. So let's do that. So the way you wanna do it is you wanna select the element which has uh, the properties that you want to animate. In this case, we have the shadow and also the image. And here in, in the states section, right at the top, you can go here and you have a couple of states, hover, pressed, and focused. We want only hover. So I'm gonna click on hover and now a new class with this green color tag gets added that says hover. And basically whatever it changes you do now, you know, kind of gets applied to the hover state. So the first thing you want to do is probably the shadow. So from 20 to 40, we probably want to make it something like, uh, you know, 30 to 60 and maybe even increase the um, shadow. So from 20, from 30 to 55, all right? Like a dark shadow, all right, something like that. And also we can come here to the hero image and we can probably scale this up. So with a width of 1000, maybe I can make this 1500, or maybe that's too much, so maybe 1200, all right? Seems to be a good number. And now I can just click out, go to none state, and now if I hover over, you can see we have this transition. But the thing is, it's too jarring and there's no you know, easing, so we're gonna fix that. So what you wanna do is in the none state, always make sure that you're in the none state, you wanna click on that, and you wanna come down, and here in the transitions, you just wanna click on that, and you wanna choose the type, all right? Now, there are so many types, you know, um, you've got size, foreground, everything, but usually I just go ahead and click on all properties, and uh, if you click on this easing, you get a lot of easing parameters. You can add in your own, or you could go ahead and, you know, pick one. Um, I usually use in something that's too dramatic, so probably such as uh, ease in quart, um, I'm not really sure, um, maybe, or maybe we could just go for ease in and out. And also you can set the duration. So probably let's set this to 500 milliseconds and you know, let's check it out. So there you go. Uh, if we go ahead and check it out over here, you can see maybe 500 is too much. So what we could do is probably, um, let's come back over here. Instead of 500, we could make this to 200 again. And uh, that should be pretty good. Let's check it out. Yeah. That's a fine. Maybe I think um, I want to go ahead and set this to the hover state on this wallpaper from, sorry, this one to be, so instead of 1200, maybe I just wanted to set it to 1100. And yeah, maybe a subtle, subtle one. I think we'll play around a little bit more with the easing as well. So you want to go back to the none. Uh, let's click here on the easing. And here are the easing. You can probably choose ease out quart. Uh, that's also a pretty decent one. So. Yeah, I think that's that, that, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, maybe let's go ahead and tweak it a little bit more. You know, just try to make sure that it's the best. So instead of 250, we can make it to 300. So from 200 to 300, let's see if we can get some good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. You can see even the shadow also uh, plays a pretty good role. Maybe we can go to the shadow and increase that also a little bit. So probably, um, Let's check it out. So uh, we've got, oh yeah, we're gonna select the hero wrapper and here in the shadow, um, oh, we gotta go to the hover state and then let's select the shadow. So from 55, we could probably make it, um, I don't know, say something like 65. All right, and uh, maybe even set this to 40 and 80, all right? Or maybe 40 and 60. Yeah, let's give it a little bit more of a dramatic feel. Let's go back to the none state. And now, yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but doesn't matter. Now we also need to add the hover state for this button. Uh, we're gonna do this a little bit later when we're gonna do it for all the others. But for now, we're just gonna do this. So basically you can see that you've got some drop shadow and also uh, a, a nice glow. So uh, let's see how to do that. I think Figma, we have the blur settings. So yeah, we've got a drop shadow. Uh, I'm gonna just copy that, all right? So copy that same color. All right, so let's go to over here. Let's select this button. We're gonna go to the um, hover states, all right? And here in the hover states, we're gonna go and add in a box shadow, all right? So we're gonna set this to 180 degrees, all right? So distance is gonna be probably 15, blur 30, and uh, we're gonna give that color that we copied. Okay, so since that's too much, we wanna set that down to maybe like 20%. All 
All right, it's pretty good. And another thing what we can do is also go to the transform properties. And what we can do in the Y, we can just increase it slightly. Um, so maybe like minus 15 or maybe, okay, maybe minus 10. That, that should be pretty good. All right, and uh, let's check it out. So we can go to the non state and let's check it out. So there you go, um, it works well, but it's too snappy. So one thing we've got to do is let's go back to the hover state. And uh, maybe I felt that instead of minus 10, we could set it to like minus five. That's a reasonable amount. Let's go back to the none state. And here in the transitions, let's go set that to all properties. Um, we can set it to ease out quart and uh, 300 uh, milliseconds is uh, pretty good. So there you go, yeah. All right, that's looking pretty good. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, build up this popular collection section. It should be fairly simple and fairly easy. Um, so we're gonna do that in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.